I'm here today with my latest Stitch Fix box. My name is Fawn and this is my channel and I try to make it a happy place. I'm a happy person generally and I've made some wonderful, wonderful friends. So if you like that kind of thing and you like women of my age with my curves trying on things and shopping and all that kind of thing, then please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave me a comment. I'm sure that most of you know how Stitch Fix works, but just to be on the safe side, I'll quickly run through it. Stitch Fix is a styling service. You get a box every month, every three weeks, once a year, however you want to play it. And they pick out some clothes for you to try. It costs £10, but if you buy anything, that £10 is taken off the item that you buy. Anything you don't want goes back in the box. Back in the post, postage paid. No harm, no foul. So there we go. Now I'm not doing very well with Stitch Fix. It's never been the best one. But here is my bundle. It always comes like that, wrapped up. And here are my documents. I'll put the box down there. What does it say? So there you see the postage paid that you stick on the box. Then you have a green one that says, thanks for letting us style you. And that is the prices. I tend not to look until the end. And then you always have an oh hello. And it's a big card like this. It has pictures of everything that they've sent you and how they recommend that you style it. Again, I try not to read it. I want the surprise, but I'm gonna have a quick look and see what my stylist said because a few months ago, they started a new thing. Where a few days before your box came out, they would show you 10 items and say, tell us any of these that you want in your box. Now last month there was nothing, this month there was one. And even that, I have to say, it was a stretch. So I'm not sure what's gonna be in the bundle, but I'm gonna see what my stylist said. So here we go. Welcome to Milestone Fix Fawn. I'm excited to be styling this 10th fix. So this is the 10th time. Thank you for all the feedback and thoughts over this styling journey. I'm sorry that not all of the styles were quite right in your fix preview. Thank you for letting me know that you like the burnt orange Movet jumper. It has a gorgeous colour and fit for over the winter season. So team it with a pair of skinny jeans and an oversized shirt for a comfy and casual winter outfit. So that must be the one thing that I said, yeah, that's okay, send it. Uh, I mentioned that I was looking for a loungewear set, which is true. So she sent some leisure joggers and um, an organic top and a sweatshirt. Do you like the print on the only dress? It's gorgeous to dress up for Christmas. Best Maya. 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 <laughs> I'm hopeless with names. Right, so let's have a look, shall we? So open the bundle and away we go. Okay, so the first thing I see is a thought top. I like thought, as you know, I shop with them anyway. And this is a navy long sleeve t-shirt um <laughs> there's not much to say about it it is very very plain it'll be beautiful organic cotton i would imagine because that's what yes fair trade and organic cotton because that's what thought do they do beautiful fabrics but as a top it's pretty uninspiring it's yeah it's just a navy long sleeve t-shirt next is a morvet sweatshirt Okay, that's quite nice actually. I don't know if you can see, it's navy, but it's got little, can you see there? It's got little hearts on it. Little sort of embroidered, sewn on hearts on it. Long sleeve, and the hearts go down the sleeves as well. Crew neck, yeah. That's possible for a lounging around in leisure set. Next is, hmm. Okay, next is a dress. So this is the print on the dress that she was talking about. So this is by a company called Only. Hmm. I like the print. It's three quarter sleeves. I had to think about that then for a minute, decide if I liked it or I didn't. Three quarter length sleeves, high neck. Um, my boobs are not gonna fit into this. I can tell you now, this is gonna be straining because it's a button through. It is a very nice dress. It's a midi length. Um, it does have also 
pocket flaps for pocket are they actual yes actual pockets on the boobs which i always think is a bit mad but i would be amazed if my boobies fit into this it is a lovely dress though so what size is that it's an extra large hmm we'll see otherwise i do like it yeah i'll bet you that'll be a disappointment i bet you i try that on really really like it but can't get the baps in okay next is the jumper that i agreed to oh and this is lovely and soft this is by movets it is in this lovely orange colour. It's V-neck. It sort of crisscrosses the neck. It is lovely and soft. Um, don't think it's itchy. I was putting it against my neck because I can tell usually very quickly. I don't think it'll be itchy. It's very boxy. And I'm not sure that it's going to be long enough. But it is a very nice jumper. So I'm happy to try it. And then last but not least this brown paper out of the way last but not least are the joggers navy joggers they are by who are they by they're by crew crew clothing crew clothing okay they look quite nice they're just very very plain slightly sort of ribbed i don't know if the ribbing will show tie waist does have pockets they feel quite sort of thick quite yeah warm so that's it that's the outfits um i really like the look of that dress and i just know it's not going to work so i'm probably going to try that first no i'll wait i'll wait and i'll try it last oh here we go let's do the try on for curvy over 50 and i think we might need to put a capital k on the curvy <laughs> okay Okay, so first outfit, I've put on the Thought t-shirt and the joggers. Um, the Thought t-shirt is exactly what I thought it would be. I thought it would be, get it? It's, it's just, you know, it's just a navy long-sleeved t-shirt. Lovely quality, but Thought can be very expensive. Um, and for, you know, for something as plain as this, I've got a feeling it's going to be too much. Um, it is very long in the arms. But it's nice fitting. It's a nice fit on this. In fact, I don't know what size it is. Uh, oh, it's an 18. Um, it's not a bad length. You know, if I was looking for this sort of thing, it would probably be a good choice. Um, pull about the arms a little bit. But it's just not, you know, it's not wow. It's not what I'm looking for Stitch Fix to do. I can go and get things in Primark and Matalan and, and, you know, pay peanuts and do it myself. Right, the trousers, I don't think are very flattering on me. Oh, I just realised, hang on, the tag is so stiff and it's sticking in my bum. <laughs> there we go. Right, I don't think they're very flattering on me. You may disagree. Um, I think they're nice on the back, but I think they're a bit close over the tummy. I mean, they're meant to be joggers, which I would think would be loose. I like the tapering to the legs. I like the fact that the legs aren't huge, but they sort of feel like they're creasing slightly, in a, not creasing, rucking in a peculiar way down here. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look back. I mean, they're a nice basic. They are a nice basic. So possibly they are a yes for lounging in. Um, again, they're just not wowing me. I'm looking for a leisure suit or a leisure outfit, but... <laughs> I was thinking, you know, at home, something, I don't know, that felt nice and was, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just not quite, I'll turn around again. Um, I will have to look at the video. I mean, they feel nice. Just a bit, blah, maybe. I've kept the joggers on to try the sweatshirt and then this, I like. I know it's high necked, which I don't normally do, but I would you know, put some jewellery on it or something to break it up. It's a sweatshirt. It's nice. The length of the sleeves is good. I think the fit is really nice. It's understated. I'm going to come in a bit so you can hopefully see a bit more of the detail. So I'm hoping that you can see these little hearts that are embroidered on it, which give it a bit of something while keeping it a simple navy sweatshirt. I really like the length that it hits me at. And I think, yeah, I, I really like this. I think 
that this one may be my keeper. And this is what I want Stitch Fix to do because I would never have picked this up. I would never have tried it on in a shop. Obviously, it's price depending because it is just a sweatshirt, but I like it. I like it a lot. I'm disappointed, guys. It is itchy. I didn't think it was, but I could literally gouge lumps out of my back. It's also not quite the right shape for me. I know I'm chutchy at the moment, but this feels very shapeless. I like the length. I think it comes to a nice point on the bum. Um, I like the V. I love the colour. You know I love the colour. But again, it's one of these very sort of shapelessy. So if you lift your arms up, the jumper moves with you. And it's itchy. I love, whoops, if you don't have itches, I love the fact that it has odd seams in it um, that give it a bit of style. But can you see it's a dolmany? I think it's dolmen they call that. So it just feels, yeah, it's not going to sit right on me, but even if it did, even if this was exactly, and you know I've been looking for a V-neck rust colour jumper forever. I can't, girls. It's, it's like tiny little needles just prickling all over. So she was right with the colour. She was right that I'm looking for this sort of thing, but uh, the fabric, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Finally, we have the dress. Straight away, you can see I was right about the bosoms. It fits reasonably well everywhere else, but there's something off about the fit. Now, I'm going to back up so you can see it in thing. I mean, obviously, a certain amount of it is my body in the dress. I think possibly the cut of this is just completely wrong for me, but I'll show you. I'll back up. I think it hits me at the wrong point just about everywhere. So aside from the tightness, because I do actually like the print a lot, I'm not keen on flaps on the bosoms, but because they're the same pattern, they're not really ostentatious. So that's okay. You know I love the sleeve length and I like the fact that it's an open collar. Okay, but this waistline is sitting at a very funny point on me and can you see I just play with my knickers in it. So there's my waist and it's above my waist. So I'm getting this extra thing going on on the back. The length is okay. It just feels like they've skimped in places. So, you know, the sleeves are great. This is great. The back feels really comfortable. It's probably tight, but it feels really comfortable. But it's just not hitting me right at all. That needs to be... I could be a bit sort of down there for it to work and it's not. I'm not particularly long bodied, I'm five foot five for um, anyone that doesn't know that. So it's just not quite right, but it is a really nice dress. So again, if you're not me, if you're not fighting the issues that I fight, which is bosoms, you know, if your issue is maybe thick legs, let's say you've got thick legs, this is great because I'm hoping you can see the length of the skirt nice pair of boots jobs are good you know it is an easy breezy one and done dress it would be lovely if it had pockets but it just feels like for me it needed just a tiny bit more fabric through here although it fits i would still like it to have had a tiny bit more fabric here and for it to be slightly lower waisted and of course allow me boobs in but it's a lovely dress so um yeah I knew I was on a hiding to nothing with this one. <laughs> so that's my Stitch Fix for the month of December. So we'll have a look at the prices and I'll tell you what I think. I haven't had a look hero yet this month because last month, November, I got my daughter to post it for me and she's lost the proof of postage and of course they've lost the parcel. So I'm probably going to end up having to pay for the things that I sent back. I think there were three that I sent back. So it's a bit of a choker. Um, I'm hoping that where I dropped it off, they will have a record. But um, yeah, DPD have lost it. And so my December Lakiro hasn't come. And you know I've been having success with Lakiro and was really looking forward to it in the December month. Anyway, back to Stitch Fix, which is what I'm doing here. So, okay, fix number 10. So let's start. Right, the navy t-shirt. Oh, if I can get to it. The navy t-shirt. 
as I thought, it's £32.95. No, it's, it's nice, guys. It is nice. I don't need it. And I don't know that I would ever pay £32.95p for a plain navy t-shirt. I mean, I could get this in, say, Marks and Spencers for £10 or £15. Pounds. Um, so that's a no. But purely for money reasons. And the fact that I just, you know, as I said, I don't really need it. I mean... I think I've got all the long sleeve t-shirts I would want. In fact, I don't wear them very often because you know me. I run hot. <laughs> Next is, oh, the jumper. So close. It's also £49. Uh, again, it's by Morvet, as I say. I'm going to have a look at the fabrics, actually, to see if I can figure out what the heck was itching because I didn't think it was going to. It's a super soft yarn. Oh, you've got to be very careful washing it, this one, it says. Um, it's called the tempura. Tempura? Yeah, tempura. As far as I'm concerned, that's food, isn't it? See, my mind goes to food all the time. Right, it's acrylic, nylon and wool. So there's wool in it. That's what it'll be. It'll be the wool in it. So I can't keep it. I mean, even if it was perfect in every way, it isn't. And I can't be itching like I've got fleas everywhere I go. So that's going back. I feel £49. Mm. Next, oh, let's see, the sweatshirt. Now, I like this sweatshirt. I think this is really cute. What does it say? The Morvet Susie Embroidered Sweat. It's a size 18. £42, though. I mean, is that a good price for a sweatshirt? I'm not convinced it is, you know. Much as I like it, again, I could get navy sweatshirts all over the place for well half that sometimes even less i mean pre-mark do them for incredibly i know they're not the same quality you can feel that this is nice but 42 mm. i'm gonna have to think about this one because i did like it so I'm, it's gonna go on my maybe pile for when i watch this back because i'll get a much better idea as to whether i think it's worth 42 pounds and maybe you guys will wade in and say it's not worth 42 or yes for and that's fabulous pay it um Next, the Leisure Joggers. Again, really nice. These are a large by Crew Clothing. £45. Again, that seems like a lot to me for a basic pair of blue joggers. Oh, yeah, that does seem like a lot to me for a pair of joggers, 45 And I do, didn't like them, £45 worth. I really didn't. So... Okay, they're gonna go back. I'm being ruthless. This is Christmas time. And last but not least, it's actually almost the cheapest thing in the thing. The only, the only cheapest thing in the thing. <laughs> almost the cheapest thing in the box. Obviously that long sleeve t-shirt was the cheapest at 32.95, but it's the dress at 35 pounds. And for 35 pounds, that is a really, really nice dress. I was expecting that to be nearer 50 pounds. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit me. <laughs> I think the colours might suit me. I've just hit myself in the late in the front. Oh my goodness me, girls! I've just hit myself in the face with the label for about the third time. But thirty-five pounds is marvellous. If that only fitted, it would need to be one, maybe two sizes bigger. If they were slightly more generous with the fabric. But then would that sort the fact that the waist was at a funny place on me? I don't know, but. And it was in the extra large. So, I mean, they're not going to do an extra, extra large, are they? So, that's a no. So, I've only got one contender, which is the sweatshirt at £45. Hmm. So, the stylist picks total £203.95. Great. And the buy all discount would take £40.79 off then I'd get the £10 styling fee off. So my price for it would have been £153.16p. I can't complain about that. I really can't. Pair of joggers, t-shirt, jumper, dress, sweatshirt. I mean, that's good for £153, but they don't fit. Or the itch. Or they're just too... I have said jewel colours. I've said patterns. I've said, well, and that's why I think there was a pattern dress in there, but... Uh, yeah. 
So it's not a five for five for me. I think it might be a one for five, but it's gonna have to look really, really good on the video for me to be willing to pay 45 pounds for a sweatshirt. But that's it. I'll put it over there for now so it's safe. That's my Stitch Fix for the month of December and I am absolutely no nearer that elusive five for five. Do you know at this point I'd take a two for five or a three for five? <laughs> anyway, see you soon guys. Bye.